Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. And Mr. Chairman, thank you for holding uh, this series of hearings on oversight. As uh, we know, we put protections, oversight protections in the bill to create uh, the oversight mechanisms, but obviously Congress has a very important role, um, as my colleague, Mr. Tierney, and you have uh, uh, said. And, and thank you uh, for taking on uh, this responsibility. I had a couple questions based on your experience in oversight uh, generally. Uh, and one of them relates to whistleblower uh, protections. The chairman of this committee and I, Mr. Platts, Mr. Braley, and others uh, have been pushing for greater whistleblower protections at the federal, state, and local level. The bill we passed, the Economic Recovery Bill, does strengthen whistleblower protections at the state and local uh, level. We have some protections already in place at the federal level, but we are trying to strengthen those. We thought it made sense as part of a bill that contains $790 billion uh, in taxpayer money, uh, some in the form of tax relief, obviously, but the other in investment, uh, that we strengthen the ability of those federal employees on the front lines uh, to uh, report uh, waste, fraud, or abuse if they see it without fear of reprisal, uh, because you can't be everywhere. The inspector generals can't be everywhere. So just, I, I know you may not have seen the legislation, but just as a general rule, uh, do you think it's important uh, to ensure that federal employees and other uh, public officials uh, who see wrongdoing and are wanting and willing to come forward and report wrongdoing are, re are protected against any kind of retaliation. And how important is that in the oversight? I, I think it's very important, Congressman. And uh, as I mentioned a little earlier, I've been a, um, somebody who has uh, designed whistle protection programs within my organization. I have not been bashful when I've seen retaliation to go directly to the secretary. Um, so um, my attitude basically is um, we normally learn a lot from whistleblowers. It um, strikes me that the transparency piece of this will, will, um, will result in many more whistleblowers than we normally see. And we have to be very careful not to send any bad messages out there. And so I'm going to be vigilant about that. And when I see it, I'm going to ask my, you know, let's say it happened in the Department of Education, I'm going to make sure that the IG knows about it and we'll work together to try to, to cut it off. Um, I want people to come forward. Now, having said that, um, it's sometimes labor intensive to sift through the complaints and the concerns of whistleblowers to find that, to find that nugget. and. Uh, and, but that's a process, and people people that um, know how to do that can be very helpful in this circumstance. I hope to hire some of those. Thank you. Uh, the other area I, I wanted to ask you about had to do with uh, procurement officers in the federal government, state, or local government. Uh, my view is even before the economic recovery plan uh, was passed, we were stretched very thin when it comes to federal procurement officers. You have one individual that has to oversee uh, lots of contracts, and even the best trained and you know best intentioned individuals uh, can have a difficult time monitoring all that. Even to the point where we started contracting out the responsibility for overseeing contracts, which creates a whole host of conflict of interest problems and other issues. Uh, do you think it's important as we uh, go through this process uh, to try and bring on more procurement officers at the federal level so they? can ably and effectively deal with the huge increase uh, in contracts. Mm, absolutely. And I think you're right. It's a, it's a major challenge to, um, to to the capacity is just not there. Um, I think um, around 9-11, um, we were doing $200 billion of contracts a year, and, and now we're doing $500 billion at the and, and not to mention anything about stimulus funds. And yet the increase in procurement specialists has remained flat. So this puts the extra strain, you know, that we obviously have to address. So the, the Act calls for the board to, to look into that matter, to publish a report at some point. But I know that the departments are uh, aggressively looking for people, whether or not we'll find them or not. You know, ironically, the economy situation might help us find those kind of people, but there will, there will never be enough to handle this kind of money. Well, thank you. Chairman, I hope we can, as a committee, focus on that because this was, as you know, a problem even before uh, we had the additional funds from the stimulus package, economic recovery package, and that's only added uh, to the burden. And as I said, you could have very qualified and well-intentioned people who just get an over, you know, 
more work than they can possibly uh, uh, follow uh, with resp in a responsible manner.